Hello. As you all know, welcome to my channel. I don't, why does it get weird at every fucking time I do this? Like, it's just every single time it just gets weird when I say it. Hey guys, <laughs> I think it's because I'm British. If I was American, it'd be all right. Like, I don't know why. Just because, like, walking down the street and I hold my phone up, I get looked at. So it's just, I think it's one of those kind of things. So yeah, welcome back. Um, I've just filmed a look on this i just filmed a look, yeah, filmed a look, filmed a video, one of them. Um, on this look, it's like a natural, low-key look. Literally, tinted moisturiser, one brush, well, two, three, I don't know. Yeah, anyway, this is my Get Unready With Me. I've got my same top on, but I've changed my background. <laughs> you know how it is. Well, you probably do, but yeah. So yeah, this is like a fun get ready with me. So I want to show you how or what I do to get unready. Like when I've been to work, I've come home and I just want to get everything off. And I do use water. No water. So that's the good part. So yeah, let's get cracking into this. First of all, I like to crack open a beer. Sometimes, not all the time. Well, most days, but not, because work is stressful, so cheers. Secondly, after that, I like to go in with my Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water, and this is the oil-infused cleansing water for dry and sensitive skin. And the reason why I like using this one is because it's not too harsh on your skin. I'm not saying that the others are. I've used a lot of micellar waters. I don't particularly like them, because I don't feel like it gets everything off your face like as say uh, washing your face and doing all this jazz does and um, but this one I just feel as though it adds extra layer on like of protection kind of thing and moisture so it's removing the makeup but it's also doing good for your skin kind of thing so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and shape this up and what you just get like a cotton pad and it'll do and depending obviously on the type of makeup that you're wearing, it doesn't really matter with like waterproof, whatever. I'm only using tinted moisturizer, a bit of mascara. You don't really need to rub hard, rub at all. Just literally just wipe, rub, whatever you feel away. And if your makeup's extremely heavy or whatever, just hold it on your eye for a little bit, just a little while, and then just gently start to massage it in. And you should see it start to just melt away, just melts. I have got like a spot in my eyebrow, luckily I've tinted my eyebrow so you might, well you can see it a little bit and I've got a spot somewhere else I can't remember but literally just wipe away. So yeah as you can tell I've got a backdrop finally, I'm in the game. <laughs> so I've been a bit obsessed with skincare at the minute, um, I don't know why, I say um a lot, I need to stop it. But yeah, I've been obsessed with skincare at the minute and I really wanted to go all natural kind of thing. Oh my god, look at that. Ooh. So I really just keep going with the same one. The same one, it doesn't matter. Just keep going with the same one. I know it looks dirty, it looks filthy, but trust me. Trust me. So yeah, I've been, I've been wanting to go all natural with my skincare. So literally just using the best, not the best, but like the most naturalist, best ingredients that I can find. So this is what like I've come up with and it's been working touch wood so far my skin's touch wood <laughs> not broke out I still got acne scars but this has been good for me so far so I'm sticking to it okay next up wait until your skin's dry I don't think I've got all my mascara off but it should be fine I'll get it off in a minute um, wait until your skin's somewhat dry, it might feel a bit wet because of the oil in the micellar water. Obviously it depends what oil, like micellar water you use, if any. And then what, this is like my new favourite thing, it's the Lush Ultra Bland Facial Cleanser. And what this is, it's an ultra effective, ultra gentle face cleanser, a rich, soft, oily cleansing cream that cares gently for all skin types. So basically, it's just like a, like a, I don't know, a creamy jelly, I don't know how you'd describe it, but you just put this, I just put this all over my face and my neck, like that. No water needed, or no water needed. And what I do is I just massage that into my face. I don't know what accent that was. I wish I was American. But you literally just massage it all over the face. I can go over my eyes as well. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I do. 
like I think you can. I haven't really, well I've read it and I've, I've researched it, so I just do, but I just massage this for a good couple of minutes because what it does is your makeup like clings to the oils and it's got almond oil, rose water, you know, uh, beeswax, honey and a few other things but basically it's all good natural ingredients and this is why I love it because it, it literally just clings on to everything and it's just, it, there's no water and I like water obviously but this just feels so nice when you rub it into your skin and it moisturises as well so you get like the best of both worlds. So on this it does say to use a damp cloth or like a cotton pad to take it off but I just literally if I get out of the bath because I get like say a shower bath every morning I literally just get my towel and I'll just rub it off like not rub it off but I'll just like slide it over my face using different parts of the towel and just trying to get off what I can I'm literally just smoothing it smoothing it off my face basically so recently I've been obsessed with like facial sprays and turners I've never really been massive on turners um, but the one I've been using at the minute is the Mario Badescu. I always, I, I feel like I'm saying his name wrong, wrong all the time. And it's a glycolic acid turner. I've really been liking this. I feel like my acne scars have been reduced. I have like some here and some here. Um, and I've, when I've used that cleanser and used this, I feel as a, it, this just gets what little, if any, dirt. I've got left off, it just totally removes it from my face and it turns and reduces fan lines. It, it, like the cleanser's got all the dirt, the dirt off, don't get me wrong, but this just gets any like excess skin cells, dead skin, anything like that, it just removes it completely off your face. And obviously it's good for fan lines and stuff. The only thing I would say about this one is it is expensive-ish. It's £15 and I got this off, I think it was Beauty Bay. So it is a bit pricey and it's only 2% glycolic acid, whereas the, the ordinary one is 7% glycolic acid. So I'm guessing that it's gonna be better. So I think I'm going to use this until it's gone and then I'm going to change. But yeah, on to the next bit. So I wasn't going to do this and I don't do this every single day. Um, but I'm going to be using a face mask for this video. Um, just to show you this because it's the, like, well not new, but it's the ordinary. And it's like, I've used it once. And I think, it, when did I use it? I used it, I think it was three to four days ago now. So I need to use it again. But it says to use on clean skin and wait for it to dry and don't use it on wet skin. So I'm gonna use it now and then I'm gonna wash this off and show you what this does and then I'm going, going to go on to the moisturization part which is after this. So yeah, let's go ahead with this. So basically this is a peeling solution and it's a 10 minute exfoliating solution and it's supposed to like leave a smooth um, complexion and stuff. And I've used this once and it's actually really nice. Um, it left my skin smooth, it didn't like obviously make a massive difference because that you, you don't expect that with a mask. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on my face and yeah this has literally just become part of my routine now and I'll show you how it goes. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and I've just washed it off the face mask and oh my god, my skin. Apart from obviously where I try to grow a bit, well I don't try but ugh, beard. Up here, oh my god, it feels so soft, like I'm not even lying, like ugh, it just feels so, like I don't know if it's exfoliated or what it's done but it just feels so soft. So yeah, on to the next thing. So what I like to do next is take my spray, and I'm gonna get another one of these. It's the Mario Badescu. I always say his name wrong. I feel like I say his name wrong. This one is the facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. And the other one that I want to get is the, I can't remember which one it is, but it's got green tea in it. Cucumber and green tea. So what I'm thinking is using the green tea one for the morning, 
so that it kind of like wakes me up, refreshes my skin and uses this, use this for the night so that it brings my skin down back to earth kind of thing. And this is only I think £11 for 236 ml, so bargain. I think it's a bargain, I'm, I'm obsessed. So I'll just spray that all over my face and then I'm just going to leave that to dry. And then what I'll do next is take the hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary. I know this seems, uh, might seem a bit excessive but the reason I do this is because this keeps the moisture in and like obviously your skin is going to be more youthful, more plumper, everything else. If your skin's hydrated like fair enough, use the anti-wrinkle creams, use your yeah, anti-aging this, anti-this, blah 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 but your skin starts with hydration, your body is made up of ice cream man. There we go. Yeah, your skin's made up of like hydration and water. Hydration and water, what the fuck? Your skin's made up of water, so like you obviously you need the hydration to keep your skin so obviously you're going to need like something to keep it there so that's why I use the hyaluronic acid after that I literally go in with my moisturiser my L'Oreal, what is it? L'Oreal Hydrogenius, I don't know why I don't know that considering it's my second fucking bottle so once that's absorbed and dried a little bit um, I swear I'm not this bad, I am this bad but I'm not like <laughs> I'm sorry. I go in with the the ordinary, um, 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil, and all this is cheap. Like I, this is not expensive stuff because I am fucking a broke ass bitch. Let me tell you that the amount of money that I spend on makeup and stuff because I see Nikki tutorials, Jeffree Star, Jaclyn Hill, Jaclyn Hill, yes, 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 give it to me, like, I'm spending all this on it, the reason I got this is because of Carly fucking Jenner, the reason I got these is because of Carly fucking Jenner, gotta keep myself young babes, so I just smoothed this all over my face, and this is for bedtime, this is only for bedtime that I do this because obviously I want the most hydration when I go to bed and don't forget your neck because no one wants a saggy neck especially when you're sucking dick so yeah that is literally my getting ready with me just moisture, 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 moisture I could I could have got someone to come in my face and fucking got a lot of moisture like I don't know why I bother but it's so inexpensive maybe 15 pounds but you can get cheaper 11 pounds I swear by it 5 pounds amazing and natural about 5 pounds about 5 pounds like skincare is not expense it's knowing what to do like my skin is far from perfect I mean I've got pores I've got redness everywhere, I've got acne scars, but my skin at the moment is the best it's ever been. I still feel the need to wear makeup because it makes me feel comfortable when going out because I just feel as a, a need to wear it now because I've started wearing it kind of thing. So it just makes me feel more comfortable. But yeah, it's, it's just knowing what products to use and how to use them and hopefully this give, gives you a bit of insight of what to use on a night time. Um, I will do like a get ready with me on a day where I just literally go to wear which it's so simple it literally like takes me maybe 10 minutes but yeah that's literally somewhat of my night time on and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon for the hopefully not extravagant one next time. <laughs> so yeah. Please subscribe, like, and you know the rest. Thank you. Hey guys, it's me again. I literally just stopped filming and forgot to say what I put on my lips, and it's literally the um, Ultra Balm by Lush, and I just put that all over my lips. Um, depending on how dry they are, I do um, use their um, sugar scrub, the Lush sugar scrub. But yeah, I just thought I'd uh, put that in there, seeing as a I, I totally forgot to put my lips in there. I, I look like a glowing, hot fucking mess. But yeah, 
Also, look at my wallpaper. It's glittery. I don't think you can see. Can you see that? It's like glittery. It's so pretty. But yeah. I'll see you again next time when I have two ring lights, not one. <laughs>